episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish Natural Food for Cats. Apparently it's illegal to hug a manatee. What? A Florida man was once charged with a misdemeanor for hugging a baby manatee and posting pictures of the act on Facebook. Manatees are typically found in shallow coastal areas and rivers, where they feed on mangrove leaves, seagrass, and algae. These herbivores munch on food for almost half the day, consuming 10% of body weight food in grass things. No! Manatees go to the surface of the water every three to five minutes, but they can hold their breath underwater for as long as 20 minutes. But well, actually, dugongs and manatees are two different things. Dugongs have a specific snout and fluked tail. Manatees and dugongs share common ancestry with elephants. These creatures evolved from the same land ancestor over 50 million years ago. Manatees' brains are smooth, and in comparison to their body, are the smallest of any mammal. But we still love them, those big dumb idiots. <laughs> Manatees communicate by squealing underwater to demonstrate fear, stress, or excitement. So they'd be like, beep, beep, beep. Have you heard there's going to be a new Star Wars movie? And then go, eee, I gotta wait! Manatees have no natural predators in the wild, but humans have played a large part of making all three species at risk of extinction. Damn you, humans. Thank you so much for watching We're Gross and Beautiful. My name is Katie Wayne, and thank you so much, you guys, for participating in this, you know, community video. And be sure to let me know in the comments if you liked this video, because we may make this a regular thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love you all. You're all so beautiful. And uh, please check out this episode about geckos, the last We're Gross Beautiful, the smallest gecko ever. <laughs> oh man, 1.6 centimeters. It's so tiny! Can you imagine? I can. Mmm. And I love you all so much, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.